Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Hare
Hare Krishna, we are reading from Bhagavad Gita, chapter 18, verse number 78, the last verse of Bhagavad Gita, very important one, we discussed part one last week, so we will continue today and then we will conclude it. situation 
all the living entities especially devotees and those who are on the front lines hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so here in this verse sanjaya is speaking as the bhagavad gita begins with um, dhrutrashtra asking the question dhrutrashtra vach dharma kshetre kuru kshetre samaveta yutsa mamaka pandava chaiva kim akurvata sanjaya dhrutrashtra is asking sanjaya is secretary is charioteer uh, is a driver when they assembled my sons and um, my um, pandu sons when they assembled on the battlefield of kuru kshetra dharma kshetra what did they do so that was the question now so the in many a uh, couple of verses are there for sanjay in the beginning first chapter is there and in between also second chapter some verses are there in between bhagavad gita in between chapters also there are few verses for sanjay here and there and then now the uh, sanjay is speaking last few verses of bhagavad gita 18 chapter ended actually by verse number 71 or so from 72 onward it's falasruti and then the concluding words krishna is asking arjuna whether you understood everything uh, in uh, everything without any illusion all your doubts are uh, removed and then uh, arjuna concludes saying and confirms that he has removed his doubts and everything whatever doubts he has uh, he has in the beginning of bhagavad gita all those were removed and he is ready to do whatever krishna says nastamoha smutir labdha tat prasadat maya Mm, karishye vachanam tava mm, I will do as you say Then now Sanjaya is concluding the Bhagavad Gita with this verse Sanjaya vacha etra yogeshra krishna etra pardo dhanudra So let's understand First one is yogeshra Krishna is called yogeshra mm, The master of all the mystics mm, So so this this means Lord Krishna has so many appliances And uh, so in the shastra it is mentioned in vedic knowledge in the ordinary living entity has 72% 72% mystic powers but very limited that also not now the in the conditioned state that also we don't have that 72% 72% but the brahma is the highest living entity in this material universe he has full he has 72% full in minute quantity that's what we have minute quantity jiva jiva can never have full and then the friend lord shiva has 85% mm, uh, mystic mm, power so to some extent then uh, lord narayan has i think uh, 94% or so and krishna has 100% mm, in full so this is a shastra is explaining so and we last time we saw that the mystic power on the battlefield of kurukshetra and jayadrat mm, uh, arjuna killed jayadrat so how lord krishna by his power he has created a sunset temporary sunset and then immediately everybody was uh, uh, on the kaurava said rejoicing the seeing the sunset arjuna lost the game because arjuna has bet that jayadrat Uh, if we cannot kill jayadra um, by the end of sunset then he will uh, kill himself he will do a suicide um, so they are ready to wait, um, ready for that in all the kauravas said duryodhana so he came out from the all the vyuha um, came out and then krishna has indicated to arjuna time is up now sun is rising it is just um, by my power i have created then arjuna understood immediately took a um, uh, arrow and shot it and uh, krishna also gave indication that head must fall on the on his father's lap otherwise you will be killed also because if it falls down he has a boon um, so so in anyway, in that way arjuna was able to kill jayadra um, by keeping all the promises of the sages and lord shiva whoever he got uh, then by lord krishna's mercy of the mystic power um, the uh, arjuna was saved devotee was saved that is what we discussed now today we can see that 
how hmm, so many mystic powers when lord krishna was there 11 years or so he was there in gokul in vrindavan he initially was born in mathura hmm, first of all there itself we can see the mystic power uh, when he was born he didn't uh, he was not born just like ordinary boy Mm-hmm. He was born with a four-handed palm with all the jewels and everything. Uh, so, four-handed palm, Narayana palm. Uh, from the womb of Mother Devaki mm-hmm. and Vasudev in the prison house, in the prison. They were put in prison by Kamsa. So there, then uh, Devaki and Vasudev prayed, please transform yourself into ordinary boy. Then Lord Krishna transformed himself. Then uh, everything, everybody was asleep, fully asleep. Mm-hmm. All the gates were open, all the chains were broken. That way, so we all know that story. So Lord Krishna was taken hmm, in this way, was taken from there uh, to uh, where Nanda and Ishoda residing hmm, Gokul. So that that's where Lord, hmm, so Lord was taken by Vasudev, his own father. Hmm, in this way. But so the after that, so eleven years or so he was there, and then when, then he came to kill Kamsa, and then that was Mathura. He was there and he killed Kamsa. So then what happened? So how this, by Lord Krishna's mystic power, how Dwaraka was created? Dwaraka was created. Uh, so nobody in this whole world, material spiritual, nobody else can do this. Mm, the, such a mystic power. This is explained in Srimad Bhagavatam and in other places in Padma Puran and other places also. So Lord Krishna, so... When the Kamsa was killed, his wife, two wives, Atri and, uh, not Atri, uh, uh, the two, na- two wives of Kamsa was crying and then they went to Jarasandha um, and told, this is what happened, then you should do something because Jarasandha is always envious to uh, kill Krishna, um, to fight against Krishna. Um, he doesn't believe that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead or God. So in that way, so then Jarasandha immediately took on, upon himself anyway he has an envious nature to fight or kill Krishna. So then on top of this Kamsa's wives as told then immediately Jarasandha came his army so much, huge army. So his battalion came to fight not one time, 17 times Lord Krishna alone, Lord Krishna alone fought Mm-hmm. Jarasandha, all his army was annihilated, and then Balram was there also. Then he told Balram, let mm, Balram captured him. Mm, uh, Jarasandha, he told now leave him because he's going to bring all. Because the reason I appeared, one of the reason also to kill, annihilate all the miscreants who are creating so much mm, uh, burden for this earth. So let me kill all of them. So if we kill now, then still there are so many of his. Uh, um, uh, associates, his other kings who are in the same category. So let him bring whoever is the whole world, let him bring all the unwanted um, kings who are creating burden. So let them be killed at one shot. So in that way, so he was left. So 17 times he came and 17 times he was defeated by, uh, so, by Lord Krishna. So then, uh, then he also went back and he did also the tapasya also. Then now the 18th time when he came, he is about to come. That that time, even uh, there is another king. Uh, there is a, it is mentioned uh, Gargeya. Uh, Gargeya was uh, somehow his bodily formation and uh, his condition was not so great. So then these Yadavas were laughing by seeing at him, looking at him. He laughed. Then he was so much became infuriated, and upset, and distressed. Then he went and um, uh, went and did a penance, and he got a boon from Lord Shiva that uh, so whoever uh, my son, the personality whom I am going to born from me, he can uh, really um, uh, can uh, can kill uh, almost um, this, so can put uh, otherwise at check. So that was the boon uh, he got from Lord Shiva, um, from the Garge. So then Garge's son was um, Kalayavana, um, Kalakanya, Kalayavana. Um. So he is the one, so at the same time, so the both uh, Kalayavana came with his army, um, so he, with his huge army, and he has, he has also boon. 
so this is and then jarasandha is also coming with his army 18th time both are coming and then krishna could understand so krishna could foresee the situation because all of them mathura a small place you know from 8 17 times he fought with jarasandha and then now this two two big armies it's going to be uh, they it will create a disturbance to the um, population disturbance to the whole kingdom so that's why he told um, krishna i am um, to- uh, telling balram so let's uh, so you be here and then immediately he with his mystic power he created it is mentioned that <coughs> shastra is mentioning तत्व योग प्रभावजनम हरि प्रजापाल कृष्ण सामुमंत्रित पद्मी निराय सो सो कृष्ण बै हिज ओन पवर् क्रियेटेड ए हॉल सिटी ऑफ द्वारका इन द नाइट सो एवरीबडी स्लीपिंग ऑल द मधुरा वाज यूर स्लीपिंग रेड ऑफ नाइट they are all sleeping by his own mystic power he has created 100 miles not just one or two feet 100 miles distance this huge city not ordinary city everything made you know all the highways are there the front roads are highways just like in our places even now main roads are highways are there nearby and then bypass roads are there outskirt the second secondary roads are there and then again the uh, what the courtyards for all the houses the houses are made of gold uh, everything whatever needs to be there in the house everything was there mm, uh, so um, jewels and what not so much opulent all these houses and every one of them in the mathura was transported to that city this is within the ocean this city is not outside 100 mile radius we are thinking by looking at uh, New York. Whenever we go through the Lincoln Tunnel, Holland Tunnel, oh, we think this is a great, uh, um, great power. Mm-hmm. So, or we see some other things uh, in the whole world mm, somewhere where there is a bridge uh, being built or uh, something, uh, some uh, underground places like in Delhi we have underground um, uh, shopping places, what not. This itself we see is a great wonder mm, because we have a limited conception. We think that itself is a great thing. but here the supreme lord the, as created by his mystic power within a fraction of no time within fraction of minutes uh, it's a one uh, 100 mile radius huge city you can imagine 100 miles that much city within the ocean and then he transported all of them as soon as they woke up in the morning they they were wonder wondered what happened how did where did we come how did we come Oh, what, uh, how come this is so beautiful and so much um, gold and jewelry is and uh, bedecked with uh, all the emeralds and what not? Uh, so they were uh, so surprised, awestruck. Um, so a beautiful description is there. Um, so this is one. Uh, this is the one of the mystic power of um, Supreme Lord Krishna. That is why it is called Yogeshwara. Hundred percent, everything in full. Uh, and then he not only that in Dwarka he then he expanded himself. into he married when he killed narakasura manasura uh, yeah, they abducted mm, uh, 16000 uh, so many queens so then all of them were in the put in like a prison like a uh, room so then all of them prayed to krishna to marry so they krishna married mm, not only just uh, one person he expanded himself into 16108 and he expanded he built 16108 palaces expand himself mm, so and uh, and then he had 10 kids mm, uh, each of them and they have grandkids also this and then Dwa- narada muni was mm, was uh, wondering uh, surprised uh, uh, want to he has heard that how krishna has expanded and uh, he married all of them so he wants to see how krishna is doing what exactly is the same krishna is there Uh, is he doing the same thing or how he was wonder struck so he appears in dwaraka uh, so uh, and then uh, he is there with krishna is there in drukmani in one of the palaces then uh, narada muni and then um, krishna he is fully renounced even though he is full of opulences as the bhagavan is mentioned um, six opulences in full as it is mentioned here wherever there is krishna wherever there is arjuna great devotee there is full of opulence three 
Dhatrasri means full of opulence. Uh, Vijaya, victory and Bhuti, Vibhuti means opulence, full of extraordinary power uh, and Niti, morality uh, will be there. So, as you can see, so extraordinary opulence, 60,000 Dwaraka itself is like an opulence. Uh, so, Aishwarya Dham, uh, Dwaraka is like Aishwarya, is not in a uh, like a Vrindavan. Vrindavan is completely at even at higher level, much more. Uh, so, that's a different uh, rasa altogether. Here, this is a mode of. Um, more of an opulence in Dwaraka. So that, that's why he is a king, Dwaraka, Dwarakadish temples we see. Krishna is a king. Uh, so the here that's how when Narada Muni comes in, he is showing by his own example. He catches the feet of, even though he is a king, uh, he is a great master, he is a Yogeshwara, but he catches the feet of Narada Muni and washes the feet of Narada Muni and he gives his own seat, uh, puts Narada Muni there and then he washes his feet, he takes the water and drop and puts on his head and then gives him a comfortable seat, his own seat and then he asks, so, well, so what was the reason, how can we serve you? And so Krishna is showing all that, how so how to behave. So Dwaraka is, Acharyas are explaining, he is a pure, he is behaving like a uh, uh, perfect human being, how to behave, a perfect king, how one should behave. Uh, so, a uh, perfect uh, ghasta, how to receive guests, how to serve guests when guest walks in, uh, whether devotee or non-devotee or parents or anybody, anybody walking into our home, how they should be received and respected, honored, uh, served. So, Krishna is showing by his own example, uh, even though he is the supreme, he has all the powers, everything, but uh, so he is showing by his own example and especially Narada Muni is a great spiritual master. So how spiritual master must be regarded and that all that aspect is also there. And then Narada Muni goes like this to each and every palace and then he sees Krishna is doing different activities. Sometimes he is with his baby, sometimes with his wife, sometimes he is doing ignya, sometimes. So different activities at different places, not same activity. All 16,000 he expanded him. Uh, Vibrahma Vilas, um, Vaibha Prakas, um, so that is one of the you know, incarnation expansions of the Supreme Lord. He himself expanded his own um, to 16,108, just like when he performed Rasalil also, he expanded himself uh, and all um, with each and every gopi is there, um, uh, Krishna. Um, that is the mystic power of uh, Krishna. Um, so, this is, that is what here um, means Yogeshwara means. Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna Yatra Pardo Dhanudra. So Yatra Pardo Dhanudra. Wherever the Supreme Lord is there and wherever the devotee is there. So what that does mean? Here this is a, this chapter is titled Perfection of Renunciation. Supreme Lord is fully renounced. What it means is the living entity must understand. Prabhupada is explained that's why everything in different paragraphs, each topic, each point Prabhupada is explained in great detail. So, the main point is the conclusion of hmm, the Bhagavad Gita. There are in a couple of places. Bhagavad Gita is concluded in main important verses. One of them is uh, chapter 3, verse number 30. And another place, the Prabhupada explains in the purport. This is the purpose of Bhagavad This is the essence of Bhagavad Gita, that verse. Same thing Prabhupada explains in the 11th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, hmm, the universal form. Last verse of 11th chapter. 55. That also Prabhupada explains that this is the essence, the purpose of Bhagavad Gita. And then again, the uh, in the opulence of the absolute 10th chapter, Chatu Sloki Bhagavad Gita. Uh, so, 8, 9, 10, 11. These four verses, uh, it has all the details of the whole Bhagavad Gita. Uh, so, so the, in this verse also, pretty much everything is there. That's why Prabhupada is explaining in great detail. So, what that means, perfection of renunciation means, that means we must understand, we must have, first of all, have that full knowledge of the who we are, the living entity. Because we are after this Sutta Mita Ramani. That means friends, sons and daughters and families, we are attached to them. That is good. But that attachment should be in relation with Krishna. Then that relation will be enhanced rather than getting into a trouble, getting into a... Uh, angriness, frustration, all kinds of things. But when we understand in relation with Krishna, that relationship also gets enhanced, uh, it gets transformed. So that, that we have to see. So that we are trying to get happiness 
on the platform of the body we see, we are seeing the sutamita ramani samaj uh, so that that's what we are seeing uh, just like the that is on the place of the uh, platform of the body uh, as we can see somebody we have sometimes the coats or dresses of our father or uh, our friend somebody gives but that that coat is not is not the same person uh, we are not happy with the person we cannot interact with that uh, coat the person is different and the coat is different same way as so the, the we have to have a actual relationship with the supreme person actual relationship with the soul not the body mm, or the father mother or friends mm, they when they pass away from this mm, uh, this world the what is there that relationship is cut already only this lifetime previous life somebody else was father somebody else was mother somebody else was friend so in this way as yes, in the river things may come up mm, for a fraction of moment mm, together and then again they disperse or in a, in a tra- while we are traveling while going we may meet people then again we get dispersed in this like this this journey this life journey is like that in this life certain people are coming together as a friends as a family members again in the next life somebody else completely different different souls are coming together who's ever uh, the pious credits uh, are matching uh, the combination accordingly they appear in particular in particular home in particular way in particular body male or female all those combination it's all karanam guna sanga sadha karmana daiva netrena janto devo upavate so yeah, based on the guidance of the supreme divine hmm, intervention hmm, based on the karma what we have done accordingly we are taking up these bodies human body or different forms of body and then appearing in different families in different places with a certain pious credits in pious credits so that's why we have to understand that our original mm, who we are we are not this body we are the mm, uh, spirit soul that is the first fundamental understanding mm, that the proper they explain also the five subject matters mm, all these are concluded this whole perfect perfection of renunciation means first we should have a mm, uh, full knowledge mm, knowledge uh, must be there that is the first and foremost aspect mm, so that's why chapter 3 verse number 30 is a that mai sarvani karmani sanyasya adhyatma cheta nirasi nirmamo bhutva sanyasya vikata jwara so adhyatma cheta fully conscious of our position our living and his position as such is ananda vigra and fully conscious of the supreme lord's position at least theoretically we should know and then we have to practice on that that is that Uh, that is uh, my sarva then once we understand that then we have to work on it practice on that platform that means offering our activities dovetailing our activities uh, so as we mentioned so the, yes we should take care of the family we should do our job because as soon as we are entering into gross ashram then we should uh, serve them because that's why we, as soon as after we entered then we should take care of it nicely that we should see that everything is in relation with krishna krishna has given the opportunity to connect together with the family connect together with friends community who, wherever we are and then we should see everything in relation with krishna and serve them but without looking attached to the result that's what sanyasya adhyatma chetasa mm-hmm. nirasi nira. without expecting result nirasi means asa means desire for results nirasa means without looking at the results and prabhupada gives example as you are working in a bank you may be as a, as a cashier as a teller you take money mm, so you count you deposit mm, with your manager you deposit in the um, uh, you know wallet mm, vault uh, so but you don't take that money mm, you just count you know, sometimes you may somebody is asking for withdrawal instead of deposit you you give to them so but it's not counted whether it's positive or negative loss or credit so we are not with the the person who is working is not worried at that result he is just carrying on the duty of a job given by his manager his boss whoever it is same way so we should carry the duty because obviously manager we will give the salary so for your work but we don't need to expect in return whatever we receive we should understand that this is the mercy of krishna this is a, because everything is coming from krishna he is the source he is the original so that is the first and foremost fundamental knowledge we need to have because that is the problem why the this war has happened whether it's jarasandha or duryodhana 
or the Dhritarashtra. The problem is with the first of all the association. They are all after that, uh, the, um, especially trying to be independent. Hmm? Trying to, that, uh, that aspect also Prabhupada is mentioning in the last paragraph or so. The fundamental problem with all, all of us, and more uh, we can see from Dhritarashtra and Duryodhana, they want to be independent. They want to act in independence uh, against the principles of religion, against the principles of scripture, against the uh, dharma given by the Supreme Lord and against the Supreme Lord's instructions, spiritual master's instructions, his father's instructions. Vyasadev is his own father, Dhritarashtra father. He has given because Vyasadev is the one, he has also instructed the same person, he has instructed Pandavas also. But they, they took it uh, in a right perspective. But whereas we can see by the association of the devotees, by the association of the wrong people, mm-hmm. the Dhritarashtra and Duryodhana, we can see. So that's why the consciousness, the knowledge is one aspect. Knowledge must be there. Mm-hmm. So, yes, the transcendental knowledge, understanding who we are, understanding the Supreme Lord position. And then without expecting result, we should perform our duties. We should uh, perform our duties. As we perform more and more, there could be difficulties uh, because a situation may come up by because of our own karma. But Krishna will make sure that we are protected. Um, as he protected Pandavas, even though they have gone through so many difficulties. As he protected um, even Mragari hunter. As he protected even the demon son, um, Prahlad Maharaj. As he protected, including Narada Muni. Narada Muni, when he was born, he was a... Uh, he was a son of a sudra and he doesn't have anybody. His mother is, doesn't have much money. He is working, uh, so, um, serving others and getting money uh, or milk and whatever, basic things to just sustain the life. And then Narada Muni was serving by the association of the devotees, Bhakti Vedantis. He associated with them for four months. He served them. He heard from them. Um, so he received the knowledge. Uh, but also he served them. He followed the instructions. Uh, with faith and sincerity, uh, uh, with that, uh, and following the instruction and implementing, putting in action. Uh, so that's what it is, without expecting in return. He, he didn't expect, oh, if I serve them, they are going to, because he was poor, he didn't expect in return that I am going to get some money back or I am going to get something in return. No, he simply out of his, just is uh, out of his love, he just served without expecting anything. Uh, uh, Anything anya abhilashita sunyam jnana karma dhyanagam. So that should be our motive whenever we are serving. So that's why the material relationships will not be generally we, it gives different kinds of um, uh, distresses, different kinds of problems when it is uh, not executed in relation with Krishna. Um, that's what we can see from Duryodhana, Dhritarashtra. Uh, so the whole uh, the, uh, we'll see in Srimad Bhagavatam example after example. Uh, different pastimes, how those who are not in relation with Krishna acting, how they are always envious, uh, uh, they, because they are not nothing in relation with Krishna, they are thinking. They are always thinking about themselves, uh, so and the results, they are attached to the results. Uh, so in this way they are getting uh, uh, controlled by the external energy. Uh, they are after this uh, actual uh, what do you call the Lakshmi Devi, mm? but the real, mm? so the real energy, who is the source of real energy? Lakshmi Devi is always serving the Supreme Lord. Mm? So, so we should be understanding who is the source. Mm? So that's why here it is mentioned, Nirasi Nirmamo Bhutva. Mm? Nothing belongs to me. Mm? So this everything belongs to the Supreme Lord. Mm? This is the first and fundamental point. Mm? Even the uh, Chatusloki Bhagavad Gita also first one. Aham Sarvasya Prabhu Matta Sarvam Pravartate Iti Matva Bhajante Maam Buddha Bhava Samanvita. That is the first point. In order for us to perfect our renunciation, first and foremost thing we should be always checking this first and foremost every day. We have to be reminded of ourselves. That's why we put Tilak. That is another. Because we are always reminded by seeing Tilak that we are servant of Krishna. The Tulsi is there at the bottom because that is. Reminding us that we are not no, uh, independent. We are dependent on the mercy of the Supreme Lord and His devotees like Tulsi Maran. That's why we put Tilak to make us remind ourselves as a servant of the Lord. So that because the constantly, because otherwise the material energy, external energy is working 
सो स्ट्रांग दैवी हेशा गुणमयी मम माया दुरत वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो दट इज दिस फंडामेंटल नॉलेज मस्ट बी देर the and there there shouldn't be expectation of results hmm? because the results will be given automatically as manager is giving to the cashier teller uh, even um, for whatever duty is he is giving he will give he will get same as krishna also will not give whenever we are offering bhoga to supreme lord he is not eating we are not like uh, raghunandan great devotee of the lord uh, he was crying for the lord to take the whole bhoga then the lord has eaten everything because his father told he have to offer like this and he, he put in front of the lord he didn't take anything uh, so the lord has eaten with his eyes but he kept the whole thing uh, so then he was crying hey, my father will scold me i am supposed to offer and you are supposed to eat and what did you do you are not eating then uh, with his love and affect me so small boy then lord came personally and ate the whole thing whole plate was empty the father was astonished when he came back and he said no are you cheating uh, he really offered and so we can see that is a extraordinary devotee but otherwise lord accepts is offer whatever we are offering is accepting but he is giving back the whole thing because how he is eating everything by his uh, by his eyes mm? so that is a, that is a opulence mm? that is one of the mystic power mm? krishna is fully potent all his bodily parts everything there is nothing material about the lord's body lord's form mm? lord's activities so that is this is the first and foremost fundamental knowledge we need to have mm? aham sarvasya prabho mm? as it mentioned mai sarvani karmani mm? so the first one is we all have a fruitive mentality mm? that is everything whenever we either come to temp, uh, either before devotion service before entering into temple also in ordinary duties every day day to day in our life in our goals in our desires we are always after okay i want to do get this get that mm? so i want to buy this buy that and something always looking for some fruitive results day after day week after week life after life is going on and so but even when we are entering into devotion service also we are expecting something in, re, uh, in result now uh, we want this uh, krishna i have given i have come i have spent my time i am started chanting still uh, my job is not improved uh, my um, uh, you know my ba- my um, uh, i didn't get bonus i didn't get promotion or uh, so many different aspects different thought process devotees has so this is the yes this is all right the beginning stage as we all may have but the slowly and gradually that should be removed because that is what perfection of renunciation means because krishna is not going to take away everything because he has everything why will he take away from you uh, living and he will not take away rather he is coming here in one day of brahma to share his opulence and take us back to the spiritual world where the original place is where our original forms are there mm? what is our original form what relation what rasa we have with the supreme lord all those no mm? all fa- our family member everybody is there mm? the original place is there in the spiritual world mm? that is the three fourth of the whole brahmana this is the one fourth this material world mm? that also mm, so we can say that is also mystic power mm? by simply is glancing and the whole material world is getting created not even krishna is involved hmm? krishna's expansion mahavishnu that's why in the universal form 11th chapter you can see krishna showed his narayana form also narayana is the source of all these uh, purusha avatars karana sai vishnu garbhoda sai vishnu chiro and these three mahavishnus are called purusha avatar from whom this creation is happening hmm? this material universe are coming out hmm, from his breathing hmm? and so that you can understand how much mystic power hmm, krishna has hmm, this is not even directly involved in creation hmm, so the, so that's why we have to first gain the knowledge hmm, but we are after in india especially people are after this uh, somebody is producing some kind of things uh, so prabhupad is giving his example uh, one of his teacher used to have a lot of mystic power he used to okay you sit here you want what grapes okay so it will be there go to the other room and uh, see it is there and then they, they used to find the grapes uh, so that this is all uh, this is ordinary prapti siddhi one of the nine mi- mystic siddhis that living entity can attain but these are all material these are all temporary within this material world only it's not going to go beyond uh, to the uh, from material world to spiritual world is nothing is going to transform us uh, we are not going to come out of this birth death old age disease through the mystic powers mystic yoga so that we have to uh, we have to after we have to serve the supreme mystic mm, who is the supreme lord sri krishna so that is that is the fundamental knowledge we need to have mm, that we have to give up this 
దిస్ కర్మ ఫ్రూటివ్ మెంటాలిటీ ఫ్రూటివ్ యాక్టివిటీస్ ఫ్రూటివ్ మెంటాల్ దట్ కాన్సెప్షన్ మస్ట్ బి గివన్ అప్ దట్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఫస్ట్ సిక్స్ చాప్టర్స్ ఆర్ ప్రొడామినెంట్లీ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ దట్ ఓన్లీ దట్స్ వాట్ దిస్ త్రీ పాయింట్ థర్టీ స్పెసిఫికలీ అండ్ హ్యాన్సింగ్ దట్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ ఈస్ మై సర్వాణి కర్మాణి సన్యాస ఆధ్యాత్మ చేత నిరాశి నిర్మమో భూత సన్యాస వికత జ్వర గివ్ అప్ యువర్ లెతాజీ గివ్ అప్ యువర్ ఫాల్స్ ప్రైడ్ ఫాల్స్ ఈగో అండ్ గివ్ అప్ యువర్ డిజైర్ ఓ వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపెన్ టు మై కింగ్డమ్ వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపెన్ ఓ దిస్ డిస్ట్రక్షన్ ఆఫ్ డైనాస్టీ సింపుల్ యాక్టివ్ సో మెనీ రీజన్స్ అర్జున వాస్ గివింగ్ ఈస్ టెలింగ్ అండ్ ఈస్ టెలింగ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ అస్ ఆల్సో వీఆర్ ఆల్సో ఎక్స్పెక్టింగ్ సంథింగ్ ఇన్ రిటర్న్ వీ ఆర్ ఆల్సో హ్యావ్ ఎ ఫియర్ యాజ్ లైక్ ద చైల్డ్ ఇన్ ద బిగినింగ్ స్టేజ్ గివ్ హిమ్ బైక్ బైస్కిల్ ఈవెన్ దో ఇట్ హ్యాస్ త్రీ లెగ్స్ Uh, it has support nobody you will not fall down because it has the support both on back side also you have extra two wheels to support but still mm, the first time when they in the beginning they will have a lot of fear then the parent holds them and then gives them practice as they go through then that fear is um, uh, gone after a few days few months and that kind of fear is there in all of us mm, and the, we are, have a fear of death mm, fear of many other things even the our, you know, our children also will have some kind of fear because all these fears are when we don't have the perfect knowledge when we don't have full faith in the supreme lord when we don't have full knowledge full understanding the you know, not only theoretical one the realization aspect that means first we have to experience that knowledge we have to experience it then the that knowledge becomes vigyan gnan becomes vigyan when we experience it so that is the problem when we have is we don't have the experiences we don't have first of all knowledge even if we have knowledge of bhagavad gita and that comes with association of devotees those who have a strong faith those who are advanced when we are hearing when we are associating like narada muni associated with bhakti vedantis no he didn't tell, he didn't think oh no by serving them what I, what will i gain i don't even have proper food and milk and this and that uh, what will i gain by serving them mm-hmm. so he is not expecting oh, like they will give money or they will give something some material thing just is going to solve my problem of sustenance is not he didn't think rather they are also very merciful mm? so supreme lord also very merciful and another story i is remembering now the mystic yoga mystic aspect lord lord so devotees are even more merciful than the lord supreme lord mm? and especially the chaitanya charitamrita is post graduate bhagavad gita is foundational and bhagavatam is mm? post graduate in further mm? the practice after you finish phd you do a project and the chaitanya charitamrita is like that mm? so where it is explained uh, every aspect every relation mm? so every point different kinds of characteristics are enhanced by giving an example so chaitra mahaprabhu travels um, to south india and then uh, he takes um, kal krishna um, kaliya krishna das or kal krishna das uh, lord associate he takes he was a devotee associate of the lord um, so with him he was there and then he travels with the lord at one point uh, in varanasi in banaras then this um, then they are called gypsies these mystics um, they can do anything and everything um, they can attract you they by their mystic power they can pull you in if you are not strong especially the tantrics we uh, most of us have seen this in india especially uh, so they also so then chaitanya mahaprabhu was traveling then he uh, came to that area banaras uh, varanasi area then these gypsies were there uh, the mystics were there then this kaliya krishna das amohar dadar they used the power they used their mystic power and attracted him and the kali krishna das was attracted by the women and attracted by all of their mystic power and he was pulled into and then uh, by the mercy of the supreme lord then lord chaitanya mahaprabhu could understand what has happened because kali krishna das didn't come back uh, so and then uh, he could understand uh, what is happening how this uh, this mystic these gypsies has created havoc uh, in his uh, mind in his thought process uh, all is uh, complete is faith has shattered and eh? so if we are not strong enough mm, so uh, so it is a very very easy to get succumb to so many uh, onslaught of this material nature this actual energy so that's why the association of devotees strong association of devotees strong faith in the supreme lord mm, taking shelter of the lot of speed of the supreme lord is very 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 important mm. uh, 
so the they have then mahaprabhu is thinking that immediately hmm, then by his power hmm, so by his power all uh, then they were using uh, they even they tried to uh, kill chaitanya mahaprabhu then by his power even those weapons whatever they are using they it went back and hit them itself in return rather they couldn't hurt uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu and then rather they uh, kill hmm, their hmm, so uh, their heads become you know <clears throat> what do you call cut hmm, by by the same weapons they try to get they are then uh, mahaprabhu has taken krishna kali krishna das hmm, brought back to uh, jagannath puri where mahaprabhu lord chaitanya mahaprabhu has traveled from jagannath puri to all the south india hmm, all the way vijayak and uh, so godavari rajamandri and hmm, sirangam and so many places the whole hmm, uh, Uh, india mahaprabhu travels and when he comes back comes back then understanding is about then he rejects um, kali krishna das uh, so then mahaprabhu doesn't want to associate with him because of his behavior he was not wrong he didn't follow the uh, fully the instructions of mahaprabhu uh, then uh, then the mercy of his devotee is even more merciful um, his devotees are even more so lord nityanand prabhu is so a lord krishna's first expansion so the mahaprabhu is krishna himself the confidential incarnation appeared 500 years ago mm-hmm. is mentioned in vishnu sahasra and mentioned in shrimad bhagavatam and many other puranas is mentioned krishna varnam pisha krishnam sambho pangastra varsa ignai sankirtanai praye janti sumevasa krishna will appear in uh, not in a black and blue mm-hmm. ah krishna golden color krishna varnam pisha krishnam sambho and he doesn't appear with his weapons he appears with his uh, Mrdanga Kartal is all his associates and perform Sankirtan Yajna for Kali Yuga that is the holy name chanting of the holy name is the Yuga Dharma of this age so in this way so the this so here Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu initially protected he brought back but then so he rejected him to show his example to because he is a strict sanyasi so he wants to show by his example he wants to teach a lesson we must be strict in our devotion so we must be strict in our sadhana hmm? we must be strict in our regulative principles hmm? that's what it nirasi nirmamo mutta sanyasya vigata jwara that means we have to also give up the faulty association especially those we shouldn't intimately associate with those who are too much always talking negative things always hmm? they want to be you know keep on drinking or keep on sleeping hmm? all and the bad habits hmm? we shouldn't spend too much intimate association with them we should give up that kind of association because that causes a great disturbance in our life also because that that's what is happening with the dhritarashtra and duryodhana otherwise same personalities were there krishna himself went and vyasdev went so they never taken they never served brahmanas pandavas are from the beginning they were serving domya and vyasdev whenever guests are come even when they are in the forest also they were always serving but we can see from duryodhana even though when they are trying to serve with a cheating mentality then what will you get in return when you are serving with cheating mentality uh, he, he wants to serve durvasmani to uh, do something uh, uh, for pandavas basically he wants to uh, uh, bring them from incognito or give uh, he wants to give a trouble to pandavas he wants to give a trouble to devotees uh, through durvasmani uh, so that's why he feeds nicely dur he takes care of durvasmani nicely and then he asked for a boon and uh, so that we a story we know so that's why with what mentality that also we have to be very careful when we are serving devotees when we are doing devotion service with what consciousness we are serving externals is not important it's all about internals with what consciousness how we want to please krishna we want to please devotees uh, really or we want to um, please our own uh, uh, our mind please our own uh, desires hmm? we want to fulfill our own desires or we want to get some name fame puja pratishtha hmm? so then it's not going to help us hmm? so that is a, a very very important that's what duryodhana wanted give trouble to others devotee means we must be very uh, very compassionate even to the envious hmm? so so there is kali krishna das then uh, when lord rejected nityananda prabhu jagadananda pandit uh, and then uh, Two others, uh, four of them, four devotees gave their mercy. Lord Nityananda Prabhu especially is very merciful, more merciful than the Supreme Lord. Uh, so he showered his mercy, and then he told, he sent, uh, he, they devised a plan. 
So they sent Kali Krishnadas to 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 Navadvip, where because Mahaprabhu appeared there, and Advaita Acharya, his mother was there, mother Sachi Mata. So obviously she was feeling distressed because his son has taken sannyas. So then they sent him there to serve Sachi Mata to be in the association of Advaita Acharya. And then also to explain all the travels of South India of Mahaprabhu, uh, what and all happened, what did Mahaprabhu, or, um, what did Mahaprabhu do, all the South India Yatra. So rather because of that, Kali Krishna went there by their mercy of devotees. So he went there and told, um, uh, explained all these pastimes, so narrated all the pastimes to others. Everybody was happy and so blissful in that association. And uh, that's how this Chaitanya Chaitamrita actual six years of uh, Madhya Leela. Uh, Mahaprabhu's traveling in South India, that the whole pastimes are all because Kali Krishna has told, explained, narrated. So in that way, so all these things has come uh, come about. They are able to. We are we have a record mm, today's Chaitanya Charitamrita because of this. So in this way, we can see. Uh, so by the mystic power of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we protected mm, from these ordinary material mystics, mystic tantrics and mystics of these Bhattaharis. They are called Bhattaharis. You can uh, check in uh, Chaitanya Siddhartha the whole past time is explained. Uh, how these uh, mystics were always captured, being captured either by fruitive activities or by this uh, mystic, um, because in India especially, nowadays a little bit tough maybe, but in the um, previous days, everybody is after this attraction. Somebody produces something, then they are after. Somebody cures some disease, then they are after that he is God. Then they try to worship him. Uh, in so many different ways, we see way in India, people um, uh, very much attracted by all these kind of qualities. But that is not what real God means. Bhagavad Gita Krishna is clearly explaining uh, what we shouldn't fall, up, fall for. Uh, so, what he is, who he is, what is his position, what is his qualities, uh, how this material world is working. Everything is Krishna is explaining. Uh, so, that way the foundation knowledge is not there. So that's why um, people are after this fruitive activity, people are after this mystic, uh, um, different kinds of siddhis, different kinds of perfections and speculations um, that also we have to give up. Um, that's why here it is mentioned, um, nirasi nirmano bhotva, um, sanyasya, um, that means we have to give up this quality association of the Duryodhana Tatrashtra as, so that will become um, the starting point of perfection of renunciation. Um, so that will become that will create an actual transcendental opulence in our uh, in our life, uh, real blissfulness, the happiness, uh, the real morality, the dharma, mm, morality. What uh, Krishna's body, Krishna, everything is dharma because dharma to sakshat bhagavat pranitam. Whatever Krishna says, whatever Krishna does, everything is dharma. Mm, when we are trying to serve Krishna, then obviously we will not be able, we will not deviate from dharma because Krishna is there. Mm, that's why he is mentioning next. Hmm? After explaining everything is coming from Aham Sarvasya Prabhu, then obviously, and then uh, you are understanding this knowledge, then the faith, hmm? the practical, uh, we see that we perceive in the realization, hmm? we practically we experience the uh, results of associating with devotee results of this transcendental knowledge hmm? that become Vijnan. Then automatically we will be discussing about Krishna and his mm, glories and his, uh, his opulences with others. Matyatta, matyatta, prana, bodayanta, parasparam, katayanta, chamam, nicham, tushyanti, chiramanti, That's why here Sanjaya before, mm, so all these are correlated. You can see before this verse what Sanjaya is speaking. Sanjaya is saying, mm, samsmritya, samsmritya, mm, two, two verses repeating again and again. He is choked up and uh, is feeling so blissful. He is telling, I am so, I, my hair is standing on end, I am getting uh, shivering. Mm, so, so much in bliss of uh, hearing this samvad, the conversation between Arjuna and uh, Krishna, and the whole 700 plus verses of Bhagavad Gita. But we are not in that state. We are also hearing, we also heard Bhagavad Gita. Uh, so, but we, we are not in that state. That means, the knowledge is not, we are being not receptive enough. We still have another, we still have our faith is weak. Uh, our, uh, our association, we still have faulty association. We are still after this um, uh, fruitive um, mentality, expecting something in return. Uh, so all these aspects are there. So all these things slowly and gradually we have to enhance, we have to remove those things and enhance our actual dependence on the Supreme Lord. We have to be dependent on the Supreme Lord. 
Uh, we shouldn't be in, become independent of the Lord. Mm? So that's what the here Dhrashtra and Duryodhana uh, became independent of the Lord. Otherwise, if when the Lord has come, why did he, Duryodhana try to bind Krishna? Uh, because he wants, he thinks that he is independent. Mm? So that's what mm, Dhrashtra also. Mm, he wants to be independent. He didn't accept as a dependence. Uh, so that means he doesn't have the all his knowledge is gone. Uh, theoretically, he may have, but the faith is not there. Hmm? The trust is not there. Uh, so that's why that means association of devotees hmm, is very important. Hmm? With advanced devotees, then that builds up trust, faith, and then practically we will be able to see hmm, our uh, uh, the experiences. We will be able to experience the actual transformation of the, what Bhagavad Gita is talking about. Hmm? As you can see, Narada has experienced the transformation by simply receiving and hearing and serving this Bhakti Vedantis. Uh, Prahlad Maharaj, within the womb itself he has received the knowledge from Narada Muni and he has experienced it itself. That's why he is able to talk Machitta, Madhgata, Prana, like that. Prahlad Maharaj went and spoke with all his classmates. Piranakasipu said, okay, teach him all Vedas and everything, how to be a demon, how to be, be an enjoyer uh, in this world. Uh, so that's what Piranakasipu wants, uh, bed of gold. Uh, so how to enjoy in this material world. Let me be the master, let me be the enjoyer. So, the, but Prahlad Maharaj rather acted oppositely. He rather taught all of these demon boys, school boys, uh, about the Lord Vishnu's position and what the position of the living entity, everything uh, Prahlad Maharaj explained, opposite. Uh, so, even only a, ch- a small child, uh, he, because by the power of the association of Narada Muni, he heard, um, because that is the power of the association of the Sadhu Sangha. So, that's why it is very important. Um, so, the Machitta, then we should discuss. Yes, you hear, but then you don't read, go home and read, neither you discuss, neither you associate. So this is a, in order for us to receive, practically realize it, practically transform our heart, then you must associate regularly, you must regularly. Otherwise, it can, we can fall down, even at a, uh, as we advance also we can fall down, as we can see from, uh, what is the name, um, uh, Bharat Maharaj, fall down from um, Baba position, he was attached to become deer. Because he didn't take the association of, at the time, he didn't consult, he didn't take association of pure devotee of the Lord. So that's why the pure devotee's association is very important throughout our life. As well as this, you know, Prabhupada is explaining, even if we are not so much in following the spiritual master, you know, but we should get, especially we should be very sincere and praying to the Lord and engage in devotion service. That is a must. Devotion service to the Supreme Lord at home. If we are not able to come to him, that's fine. At least at home we should sincerely serve the Lord, offer whatever we have. Hmm? That's what Mai Sarvani Karmani means. You know, in the 18th chapter also we can see before verses 66 to 67, after Sarva Dharma and or before or after. Mai uh, uh, Sarva Karmani, hmm? it is Sada, hmm? like a couple of verses are there explaining the same aspects. Because this uh, 18th chapter is talking about, first of all, talking about Karma Sanyas. Yes, people at the first level, they have, um, they want to perform activity, they want to uh, go become big, um, billionaire, millionaire, they want to enjoy, they want to have all the opulences, they want to nicely have everything, all facilities, uh, so go on, but little devotion, little here and there, when they get up and they want to offer something, uh, so that's all they want, so slowly that is the mentality we have, so alright, um, so you start in that way, but we develop or increase our attachment to Krishna, Slowly, gradually detach yourself within the within our heart and uh, detach you know, from the results. You know? Result doesn't belong to us. Everything belongs to you. That way, gradually. That means knowledge and association is very important. Then that mentality will be removed. That's why it is called karma sannyas. That whatever fruity mentality, we have to give up that kind of mentality and attitude. That is the section one of um, chapter eighteen. And then he goes beyond that further. Um, that uh, so the. Uh, jnana and mystic, uh, the mystic opulences and then uh, mystic uh, mental speculations. We also have uh, many times we speculate uh, things in our own way. Uh, so I can do this, uh, I don't need to hear. Uh, so I, we have maybe caught up with our work, caught up with the different difficulties, then we don't want to take any guidance. Neither we take guidance because we have to read regularly Shastra. Even if we don't take guidance from then we will be able to, Krishna will give indication, intelligence. That is what he is mentioning. Tesham satata yuktanam bhajatam priti purvam dadam buddhi yogam tam yanamam He will give intelligence within the heart. When 
when you are surrendered when you are dependent on him that's when you will give intelligence when you are associating with devotees when you are associating with book bhagavata person bhagavata hmm? so propa is translating the acharya's commentaries are there hmm? when you are associating with them sincerely seeking guidance within your heart when you are sincere and surrendered then yeah, even though you may not be uh, in the association of spiritual master or advanced devotees all the time but still lord will give guidance but first that seeking mentality that surrender uh, that sincerity must be there on every day basis um, our prayers must be there every day with them and then we should uh, not only prayers but we should have a tendency to change our heart tendency to change our habit tendency to change our desires we are, we should understand these are these are the desire they have is it good to have this desire or not is it as per the scriptures uh, it is not is it helping me first of all in our material life is it enhancing my relationship or it is rather creating trouble we have these desires so all these things must be understood so then we will be able to come out of these things very easily we shouldn't give up anything artificially the rather everything will be renounced based on this transcendental knowledge so the karma sanyas then gnana sanyas yoga sanyas then automatically then we come into the pure bhakti when you have because bhakti is tinged with this fruitive activity bhakti is tinged with speculations yes i can chant uh, anyway i like you know, sometimes on beat sometimes i do multitask sometimes i watch computer i can do uh, so many different uh, this is just i am uh, giving an example mm-hmm. i can do whatever what is the problem in drinking coffee you know, what is the problem in going to gambling so we will have all kinds of speculation in the beginning but all these are again shastra because it's going to pollute our mind mm-hmm. our consciousness is getting affected by taking intoxicant or coffee even the simple small things but it, it gets the uh, Uh, the mind is not in our control and senses are not in our that's why we have to uh, get out of those uh, even those small things uh, so that but much more mm, krishna is speaking much more advanced than that not just uh, other coffee tea giving up even much more that means we have to give up this material tendencies of you know, having become becoming the independent of the supreme lord becoming the enjoyer of this world uh, rather we should offer everything mm, especially in the summer lord likes uh, so everything whatever fresh fruits we get so many fruits we should offer but minute we see oh i like my wife likes i this is what and so or when you are especially summer everybody is planting yes i like this oh, my house should be beautified with all this plant this that no that the thought process itself should be this should be if i offer to this to the lord then that becomes uh, it's so nice that should be the thought process when we go to grocery shop when we see a flower shop wherever we go that should be the thought process even when we go for shopping also we should see what can i buy what can i offer yes after you offer then you can wear it that's what in the olden days if you if you remember i remember very uh, clearly uh, we used to take even if it is shirt pant also we used to take a touch uh, that um, uh, with the lord uh, and then you take it uh, so and then you wear it uh, you put all these the um, uh, characteristics all this culture is given in the olden days because the idea everything the idea is surrounded by must be in the service of the supreme lord nothing is independent of the supreme lord uh, even though we celebrate birthday that also will be in the we do puja sit in front of the lord do puja that is gone now the actual puja to the lord is gone everything else is um, uh, became the primary so all these things must be Yeah, understood clearly mm-hmm. that's what it means we have to give up these speculations give up these tendencies mm-hmm. the various desires desire must be to how to please the supreme lord how to offer whatever we have small things even if it's a minor things but the sincerity mm, with the love and affection so that's what here it is mentioned tesham satata yuktana bhajatam priti purvakam when somebody living entity is offering with their sincerity in the heart then automatically krishna is reciprocating he is giving intelligence he will protect that person at any cost mm? so sometimes the devotees may if it is advanced devotee to establish how lord protects to glorify sometimes they may go through different difficulty like shri propa that to go to three heart attacks so many years he had to spend so much hard struggle to establish movement and establish the this whole preaching uh, uh, the give translation of this bhagavad gita right all these books it took many years you have to struggle many years because to establish uh, to glorify supreme lord as a, as different plans uh, uh, 
So um, uh, ultimately, Prabhupada is being glorified because the pure devotee has done extraordinary work um, despite so many inconveniences. Uh, he never, he was always equal to even the envious people also. Even within his movement, so many were envious. Within his Gaudi movement um, also, so many his own god brothers was envious of him, becoming popular, becoming uh, become a so many and mission is expanded. But he was always even seeking their guidance. He was, Trying to bring them uh, to this um, uh, mission, trying to, okay, you take the credit, I don't need to take the credit, we all should work together. Um, even when he left also, this is the, one of the mission he has given to my spiritual master, Prabhupada has given, instructed. You create this Gaudiya Saraswat Mat and then try to unite all the uh, Gaudiya Vaishnavas, even though they might be different Mats, uh, bring them, unite together and try to work together. Um, so this is, so Prabhupada has a huge plans and he always equal to all he rather he is telling we don't need to change if they are somebody is christian somebody is muslim whatever their faith they can be on the same they don't need to change their faith rather they should understand how to execute the will of the lord how to be in the consciousness of the lord how to become the dependent on the lord this is what propas all his instructions are based on that he never asked to change somebody's uh, um, religion, somebody's uh, faith. Hmm? Rather, he is mentioning all about the highest dharma. Hmm? Understanding within the same, wherever you are, you don't need to change your position, time, hmm? so your uh, whatever, whether engineer or doctor, whatever situation, rasta, vanapasta, we don't need to change any of that. Rather, how to utilize things what we have in the service of Krishna. So that's what here it means. You, Krishna will give intelligence within the heart. Uh, for those who are sincerely seeking, sincerely trying to serve, sincerely giving up their tendencies, these uh, unwanted desires, unwanted uh, fruitive mentality, uh, this, uh, because that is not going to help us in long run, uh, as well as most of us are in IT job. Yes, we have all kinds of uh, some, some ideas, some goals. Yes, goals are good. We try, we try to work hard, we try to present whatever. But if it doesn't happen, leave that to Krishna. We shouldn't be so much caught up with that, uh, oh, no, this desire, this didn't happen, this didn't happen. So that should be left to Krishna. That is not our uh, jurisdiction. That is Krishna's worry. Our worry is to work. Our worry is to not be, give up the laziness. That's what most of us have this laziness. That's what Krishna is telling Arjuna. Give up your lethargy and fight. Hmm? Sanyasya vikata jwara means give up your... Uh, laziness, fury, mentality, and give up and fight, get up and fight. You have all kinds of speculations. I don't want to fight because of these, these reasons. So we also have the same sometimes tendencies. We don't want to follow the world. Sometimes it's too tired today. Or why should I chant? Let me make up tomorrow. Hmm? So let me not hear. Let me not. Tomorrow I can read Bhagavad Gita. Or on the weekend I'll read. Let me do all other things. All other priorities will come into picture. So this way, always we should be um, careful. Um, more we become lazy, minute we become lazy, then immediately material is ready to capture us. Our senses, our intelligence, our mind, everything gets affected. So that's why it's very important to follow the in the morning. As soon as we get up in the morning, we should try to chant, try to read, whatever time. And start with some time, 10 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day. A little time for chanting, a little time for reading Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam. It enhances our intelligence, then we will be able to make right judgment, we will be able to give up unwanted things. Otherwise, it can never happen. It takes many millions of lifetimes, even though we might be in the association, because we are taking, taking it very cheaply. And the association, we take it cheaply, we take the Lord also, yes, Bhagavad Gita is there, Krishna is there, yes, the theoretical knowledge, but it never came, is not coming into practice. So that's what Krishna is here is mentioned. Those who are sincere, Tesham sato dektanam bhajatam priti porakum with love and affection constantly. With the, if somebody has love, especially if somebody is married and then he has a, she has a lover, uh, then how careful she wants to make sure that that uh, um, extra marital relationship is not uh, um, uh, you know visible. So she takes care of the duties even more carefully. Uh, so to make sure that doesn't get, um, create a problem. So even more carefully. In that way, we have to be very careful very, with so much um, absorption we should be in the service of the Supreme Lord, in our service, in our sincerity, with love. So much um, as the mother loves the kids, even if they are against. Um, so even nowadays, maybe that's not there, but in the olden days, at least, mother is always, even if they are 
not serving them the left Uh, parents but still always mother is trying to feed even at 30 40 50 years old also mother is trying to feed trying to serve trying to help whatever uh, uh, so whatever capacity um, that is the nature of the mother um, she doesn't look at positive or negative she is always trying to serve that is the nature but the supreme mother supreme father krishna uh, so he has even more um, so loving nature to us so that's why more we serve then the lord will reciprocate tesham evan kampardam aham agnan more merciful the lord is more compassionate even somebody is not educated somebody is not so much knowledgeable not philosophy understand philosophy but still krishna is telling i am going to re- remove all the unwanted thing tesham evan kampardam aham agnan jantam gnan nasayam atma bhavastu gnan deepena bhavastu by by torch light by putting a lamp in your heart remove all the ignorance and he, and bring the living entity to the light in this way krishna is explaining in throughout this bhagavad gita in the beginning six chapters the 3.30 is the concluding verse an important verse and then in the middle six chapters 12th chapter is very important and also in the 11th chapter so in almost all the six chapters middle six chapter very very important so 1155 is also mat karma kran mat paramo mat bhakta sanga varjita they are also same aspect is mat karma kran mat paramo mat paramo means working for krishna mat bhakta bekam is devotee sanga varjita that means you have to give up faulty association nirvaira sarva bhuteshu you should be equal to all you shouldn't be envious of any living entity nirvaira sarva bhuteshu equal to all living entity na mamet pandav so he becomes the very dear to krishna he becomes so or you will attain krishna Uh, this is the same thing is explained no? so again in this uh, uh, chatur shloki bhagavad gita also and then finally is concluding in this verse we can see that the p- real perfection of renunciation means we have to give up all these tendencies main thing is the dependent on the lord and his devotees constantly day after day week after week despite whatever situation we are in doesn't matter we should be praying to the lord we should be take protection of the lord and his devotees and uh, con- regularly read regularly chant and take the association so then the faith will increase then we will go from one stage to another stage of devotion life and then that will increase that will give the blissfulness real bliss will come from devotion service from our offering everything to krishna whatever we see that's a small fruits vegetables whatever we are eating whatever we are working whatever we have if we are working in pharmacy and whatever we are doing whatever work we are doing we can offer those kind of things the result if you are a painter if you are a carpenter whatever skill we have we can offer whether we are kirtan or whatever we whatever we have quality though all those skills must be utilized out till then all our desires also will be um, the unwanted desires will be automatically will be uh, purified automatically because we are offering because that's what krishna is explaining since we are not so much strong like parichit maharaj just by one hearing itself seven days he was able to absorb and he is able to go back to god but we are not like that that's why we need all nine kinds of devotion everything almost most of the aspects are we need we need to engage in all of them hmm? hearing chanting remembering uh, so, so all these aspects we should use our hands legs we should use our mind we should use our uh, everything all the senses then it will, we will be able to capture captured by the supreme lord its uh, senses otherwise it will be captured by the material energy because even one sense goes away one sense distracts us then the whole uh, everything gets spoiled mm? just like our sense of hearing is always somewhere else mm? then then we are attracted by some material sounds material music then uh, we can never be focused mm? we will not be focused in uh, service to the supreme lord mm? thinking of the lord so like that one sense that's why all these senses must be as much as possible initial at least gradually then we become strong then then it's all right at that point we will become dependent on the lord so that's why it is mentioned like amresh maharaj is the expert in this offering everything using everything in krishna service so that is a real perfection of renunciation then automatically the devotee is there lord is there that uh, full knowledge practical knowledge uh, realized knowledge then that is a perfection of renunciation that is what then automatically you will have opulence you will have victory you will have a um, full of morality you will have extraordinary power 
whether you look at Pandavas, whether you look at Ambrish Maharaj, whether you look at Narada Muni, whether you look at Murugari, Hunter, uh, so every one of them, Dhruva Maharaj, uh, the, all the examples we can see, whoever approached the Lord, uh, they perfected their yoga uh, with uh, uniting with Krishna, then automatically they all, they all went through one stage after another stage, and they perfected. So in that way we also need to follow and then perfect uh, our uh, renunciation, internal renunciation, nothing is external. Krishna nowhere is talking about external renunciation, it's all about internally. Mm. Attachment to the result, that means don't take, you should take your salary, if you are, somebody is giving bonus, you should take. Krishna is not telling, renounce, give, give, tell them to give away. Mm? No, Krishna is telling, yes, you take it, but you rather offer. Mm? So, you use, uh, utilize, try to utilize in Krishna service at home, uh, um, at temple, wherever. Mm? How much ever you can, within your capacity, yes, you should maintain your family, whatever is needed, yes, you can uh, use those. But as much as possible, because even uh, you are offering your boga to the Supreme Lord, uh, so, engaging your kids in Krishna service, all this becomes devotional service. So, whatever opulence you have, everything becomes purified. Mm? So, that's what Krishna consciousness means. It is not uh, something uh, different. It's a natural activity, just a dovetailing aspect. How, how we see things, what consciousness we execute. Uh, so, that's what uh, really this perfection of renunciation means. There are many levels, but we are just talking at least the foundational level. So with that, we will stop here. If you have any questions, we can try to understand. Yes, Prabhu, Hare Krishna. One minute, Ashish Prabhu, yeah, go ahead. Ashish Karna Prabhu. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yes, after next week is Jagannath Snan Yatra, so we'll be starting again a week after or two weeks after. I'm thinking to have some Kalparoksha Prabhu's Kirtan, so we'll see whether. Uh, so, but definitely we are starting Bhagavad Gita again from the beginning. Yes. Okay, okay. We have two more Ekadasi, right? Yes, Tuesday, June 2nd, Tuesday is Ekadasi. Pandava Nirjal Ekadasi, that means complete fasting, if you are, especially if you are broken. If you are fasting, uh, any ekadasi you didn't follow, then uh, we, t- we should try to observe that nidjal fasting. Okay. 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 Somebody else has a question? So, next Friday, Prabhu Hare Krishna. So, next Friday, there is a class, Prabhu? Next Friday, they, they, they may not be because uh, next Friday is, uh, J- I think Jagannath Snani Yatra is there, actual day of Jagannath Snani Yatra. Saturday, we have big celebration going on. In the temple, so most likely we may not have, but I will post it accordingly. Most likely next week we will not have. I will try to see if we can arrange a kirtan, Kalpavruksha Prabhu's kirtan, I am trying to see. But I have to check his schedule. So, anything else? Any questions? Everything is understood, clear? Which one? From the beginning, you are doing the Bhagavad Gita. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Bhagavad Gita will start again uh, from chapter one, verse number one, uh, after two weeks. We, uh, after one week or two weeks. Yeah, the, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if you don't have any questions. We will stop here. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Kandra, Srimad Bhagavad Gita ki jai. Rupat ki jai. Thank you, Hare Krishna.